Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. You know, these quiet earthquakes are only supposed to come about once every 14 months and last for about a week or two. But they've been ongoing uh, throughout pretty much this year. Here on the 12th, there was 182 earthquakes down here by Medford, Oregon and up here uh, by Astoria. Washington. The day before, on the 11th, which would have been Thursday, there was only 70. Then on the 12th, it jumped to 182. The 13th being a Saturday. Yeah, uh, no one was working at PNSN, so nothing's reported. And they're always a day behind uh, for, say, like today, the 14th. I've told, told you this before that they don't post um, that day how many earthquakes have been. Um, they're always a day behind. But seeing how it's a weekend, the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network is also off on vacation. Well, maybe they're off down at the beach with all those other people. You can do a Google search about these uh, quiet earthquakes or silent earthquakes. On Live Science, they had about the uh, new research and how they come every 14 months. Many scientists believe that if and when the Cascadia subduction zone um, has its major earthquake, it will be during the time of the swarm of the quiet earthquakes. Today there was a magnitude 2.4 off the west coast of Petrolia, California. No one reported feeling this earthquake, but I thought I'd use this earthquake as an example to touch on what's been occurring there. Now, you see this white line here. That is the San Andreas Fault Line, and it runs up and joins up with the Mendocino Triple Junction. Here's the location of today's 2.4. I'm going to bring this out so you can see the different fault zones. Here in the red line along the coast, that is the Cascadia Subduction Zone. The red line is the Juan de Fuca fault zone or plate. Um, scientists have now given the Juan de Fuca plate uh, three different names because it has broken up, in their opinion, into three different sections. We got the Explorer plate, we got the Juan de Fuca plate, and then down here we got the Gorda plate. The two zones right here where I got X's marked is where they've been having the quiet earthquakes in Oregon. Here we got Medford, Oregon. And this other one is near uh, Roseburg. And then we got Coos Bay, etc. And then we also got, not far from there, the boundary that is locked. It's an area that is um, not allowing earthquakes to happen, so tension is building. The Juan de Fuca plate, part of the Farallon plate, is subsiding, going underneath the North American plate. And there's areas along here that are locked. There's also another area um, somewhere up here. I don't have it marked, but it's also locked. And I drew out arrows for you guys to show you which way these plates are moving. Here we got spreading, where new... Um, land is being formed, the different directions where the fault lines move. Yeah, we got spreading here also along the Gorda plate. And again, the direction where the fault line moves for the Mendocino Triple Junction. The Pacific plate is slowly shrinking and it's kind of got a northwestward movement here, but it is sliding underneath the North American plate as the Pacific Ocean shrinks. The Atlantic Ocean is growing, whereas the Pacific Ocean is slowly getting smaller. Another thing to consider, which they don't talk much about, is the Walker Lane Fault Zone, which, came, which comes up from Nevada and comes in uh, contact with the Mendocino Triple Junction, somewhere along in this area here. The Walker Lane um, Rift Zone, 
as it's known, is a relatively new rift zone. It's not fully developed yet. It is developing, and we know that because of all the earthquakes that they've been having in Nevada and down by the Salton Sea and Coso uh, Volcanic Zone. It too has been divided into three different sections, but one day I would not be surprised if it could just totally rip from one end to the other, just like uh, the Cascadia Fault Zone ripped from one end to the other in the uh, 1700s. If there is a major earthquake along the Cascadia Fault Zone, you could have areas of land that drop anywhere uh, between 20 and 30, maybe 35 feet, actually drop. Yeah, we got uh, mountains that have built up because of the pressure um, where it's locked. You know, the mountain ranges that have built up because um, as the... Uh, uh, Juan de Fuca fault zone subsides underneath the North American plate. It creates pressure. And if you take a piece of paper, take two sides of it, push it together, well, what do you get? You get folds. And that's how we got these mountains and different islands and things like that. During the 1700s, besides the huge tsunami that came, uh, because of the drop of the elevation, whole islands, uh, Native Americans talked about whole islands when they woke up were completely gone. They had sunk into the sea. Um, there's areas now what they call ghost forest, um, where the land had sunk, the seawater had come in, the salt water then killed the trees. If you use Google Earth and you'll see these channels, these very deep channels coming off the ocean, these are from past tsunamis and landslides that have washed away uh, the water or the sediment washed it down into the ocean. Yeah, that's what these are from. The Gorda Plate, yeah, it's moving eastwardly, but it's also doing a counterclockwise motion. Think of a tornado as it slowly moves east, but it's also doing this clockwise motion. Like I said, this isn't much of an earthquake, but it is an indication that pressure has built no, small earthquakes do not relieve the pressure, the tension. And one day, that tension will pop. And like I said, uh, we'll have huge drops of um, land along the ocean where these uh, um, areas have built up. And some of you have been asking for me to do a more detailed um, report about what's going on here and what could happen. Uh, so I thought I'd do that for you. Thank you again for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. If you do have any questions, please put it down below. And please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.